This will knock you out of your seat too. Five years ago, I went down the YouTube rabbit hole to try and figure out our place in the universe. And it was this video from Neil deGrasse Tyson that absolutely changed my perspective about life. They collapsed and then exploded, scattering their enriched guts across the galaxy. Guts made of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen and all the fundamental ingredients of life itself. I became obsessed with science, with Dr. Tyson and especially astrophysics. But this story isn't about that. This story takes place two years ago when we were in New York City. in New York in the fall, so it's very beautiful. Falling leaves everywhere. Have views behind me here of the Upper West Side, which is where we're staying, and the Upper East Side. It was our second or third day in New York, and we were exploring the American Museum of Natural History. We went to the Hayden Planetarium, where we caught a show hosted by the voice of Neil deGrasse Tyson. And as we were leaving the museum for the day, I saw a flyer on the counter. And the flyer said Neil deGrasse Tyson in conversation with Captain Scott Kelly, one of my favourite astronauts. Now, that talk was happening that very night at the museum. So we go back to the hotel and Emily's pretty tired. She decides she's not heading out again, but I'm not going to miss this, not for the world. So I decide to walk at seven or eight o'clock. I leave, the talk's about to begin. I go from our hotel in the Upper West Side, across Central Park, down the Upper East Side to the Museum of Natural History. And when I get there, there's a huge crowd. I mean, a huge crowd uh, out the door and indoors. And I walk up to this lady holding a clipboard and I say, uh, hey, where can I buy tickets? I can't see a ticket booth anywhere. So she turns around and says to me, these tickets sold out months ago online. <sighs> Devastated. But I didn't give up there because I said, is there any way that I can get in? Can I buy a ticket from somebody else perhaps? She says, look, what's your name? And then I said, what, you don't know my name? I've got like 388 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> writes my name down on the clipboard. There's 14 names already written down. She says, this is a list. If certain people with tickets don't show up, you guys can fill the seats, but don't cross your fingers. Sometimes there isn't many seats available. So I wait around. I wait in a line with these other people that are also on the list. Now, maybe 30 minutes goes by, the show's about to begin, and the line I'm in goes from 15 to about 60 odd people, all looking to fill seats and see this conversation. When the show begins, the lady with the clipboard starts calling out names. First person goes through, second and third person go through. Eventually, she calls out my name. My heart absolutely leaps out of my chest. I can't believe it. I'm getting in to see them. I expect some kind of money exchange, but no, as a seat filler, they let me walk straight in for free. I had the very last seat, only 15 seats opened up. I sat in the 15th seat in this prime view up top and started filming two of my idols in conversation. Then what happened? I saw this book on the shelf and I got my attention. I picked it up, I looked at the back and then the front and I started reading it and it interested me enough to take my dumb money and spend it on a book and took it back to my dorm room. And what's the name of that book? The book was The Right Stuff. Thomas Wolf. Thomas Wolf, yeah. Wolf. Now, about 20 minutes goes by and I decide to put the camera down because I really didn't want to miss being in the moment and I was watching it through the screen the entire time. So I put the camera down, I enjoy the rest of their conversation. It was an incredible experience just seeing them there, a hundred meters away from me. So the moral of this story is effort equals reward. You see, if I had never walked down there, or if I had have turned away when she said the tickets had sold out months before, had I not asked if there was another way, 
I wouldn't have sat in that room. I wouldn't have had that experience and seen two of my idols in conversation. You've got to be in it to win it. It's what dreams are made of. I'll have another vlog next week. I just wanted to share this story. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll catch you in the next place. Ah, oh, Jesus. The things you do for YouTube.